Hi, I'm Alex Kidman from Fat Duck Tech, and today I'm taking a look at the Panasonic W850M camcorder. Smile! The HC W850M is Panasonic's latest high definition camcorder, and from a technical perspective, it hits the points you'd expect it to hit. The 12.76 megapixel sensor sitting behind, it, behind an f1.8 lens, 20 times optical, optical zoom, up to 1500 times if you want to use digital. Storage is either via internal 16 gig of memory or SD card. It's all fairly standard stuff in a relatively lightweight 361 gram body. That's not going to be enough for most people in this day and age to splurge on a new camcorder though. So the W850M has an extra trick up its sleeve, or to be more accurate, an extra lens. A small rotary lens that sits on the side of a flip-out LCD display and pops slowly into life when you rotate it outwards. It's only a 5.27 megapixel lens, which suggests that it's much lower quality than the primary lens sensor, but that's not actually the case because the primary sensor sells itself on its higher quality sensor, but its effective sensor quality is actually only around 6 megapixels. The central idea is that you could use it to record your facial expressions while looking at a suitable tourist scene, or gain an additional angle on any given scene, because you're not simply limited to using it in a rear-facing capacity. It can be flipped entirely forwards to give a small window view of whatever you're looking at, tilted to whatever angle you've got the screen at. Video quality is actually quite good from the primary lens. You can change the bitrate, you can alter the focus and the white balance, as you'd expect with just about any normal camcorder. The inbuilt microphones have good audio pickup and reasonable window isolation. And overall, if you're shooting basic video, this works quite well. In order to sell, camcorders need to be relatively simple to use, and on this score, the HCW850M performs admirably well. With a simple touchscreen interface and very few actual button controls, aside from an optional manual control dial located on the front side of the device. There are some issues with the 850M. The secondary lens certainly works, but it's very much a fixed mode lens. You can adjust variables for white balance and focus and so on on the primary lens, but not on the secondary one at all, which means your inset videos are highly likely to have a different contrast to your main picture. When recording with the second lens, there's a pause of around a second or so while it gets focused and comes on, which could of course lead to the odd missed shot. And it's also a little fiddly to flip the lens out without getting your fingers in the way, especially if you're holding it and shooting at the same time. You're also quite likely, as I discovered, to end up with some fairly unflattering photos of yourself if you're using it in selfie mode because you're more than likely going to have it quite close to your face. That's a bit of a learning curve issue. Equally, when you're using both lenses at once, it's only ever recording a single file. And what that means is that if what you get in the front lens is great, but you sneeze or the angle is wrong or whatever, you're still stuck with that stuff in your video. You don't have two separate video files. Now, admittedly, that would require some fairly fast recording and it would obviously eat up a lot more recording space internally or in an external card, but it'd be such a useful feature to have to be able to mix it in separately afterwards or delete it if you didn't want that additional file. So the question is, should you buy the W850M? Well, that depends on what you want. If you want a camcorder, yeah, look, I can't criticize it as a camcorder. As a basic camcorder, it's functionally fine. Plenty of shooting modes, quite good quality output, nice lightweight in the hand, simple controls, that's all quite good. The thing is that its selling gimmick is the secondary lens, and it's a gimmick. It's something that you'll probably use a little bit when you first get it because hey, it's built in, but it's not something that's got a lot of long-term scope. And that difference between the quality of the lenses and the ability even to modify things like the white balance or the focus on the lenses makes a big difference to your final product. As such, if you can score this for the same price as a regular camcorder, sure, go for it, but don't expect to be using the second lens for all that long.